My name is Mr Noble and I'm going to take you on a geography field trip around Norton Community Primary School to explore the local landscape. I'm on my bike and I'm riding along so we'll whiz along at some points and we'll go slowly and observe different things at other points. But you can see to start with we have lots of familiar buildings, houses that line the streets. Coming up, if you peek through on the left, you can actually see a glimpse of Norton Primary School through the buildings. Some of the buildings are quite interesting, like this one. And on this building there is a date for when it was built, 1901 and 1903. Interesting information for thinking about how and when the landscape changed. This is St Peter's Crescent named after the church which it is opposite. A church that no doubt you're quite familiar with. And opposite the church, the Year 5-6 Langton Road site of the school. Carrying on down Langton Road we have houses lying in the streets. A mix of terraced housing and semi-detached and detached housing. And if you're familiar with the area, you'll see now we're coming up to Norton College. Carrying on down Langton Road, we've got some new building work going on. This housing estate is a large housing estate and more housing is planned for around Norton. But you can see here, over the hedge, we have open fields, an interesting mix of rural landscape and urban landscape. Heading down Langton Road further, we leave a lot of houses behind us and we see more of the countryside. Here we see a stables area. This used to be Bright Steel storage facility, a warehouse and has been converted into stables. Up on the left here is an unusual site that many of you probably have not discovered. But in the garden of this house, there is an old chapel-like building, although it is a ruin. But it is really quite mysterious. Something, perhaps, you'd like to find out more about. Back on the road, and we're going to take a turning and you'll see on the left lots of white buildings. This is a stables area. Horse racing is very popular in North Yorkshire and lots of horses are reared and trained here. Up this hill and you can see Scott's Hill as it is called. A popular spot for sledging. The road gets narrow here there's not much space. Looking over the hedge you can see the landscape. The rooftops of the houses we've just passed. Carrying on down this narrow road. It feels like we're in the countryside. And here we have an old barn or building, ruined now. And again we come across houses, different style than before, but still feeling quite country-like with horses in the fields.
another stables. And on the far side of the road, there's a sign, Wellham Hall. There's lots of different properties around from different eras. Once again, we have a combination of rural fields for farming alongside urban housing. And here we have a sign for the golf course down the lane there. Fancy some fresh farm eggs. This is Wellham Road. And as you can see, the housing here is quite different to when we first set off by the school. And here we turn into an area called Lakeside with lots of new buildings and interestingly, a lake or a pond, we could say. This is fed by a stream and it's actually an old mill pond. A lovely little footpath around the pond, ducks quacking about. It's a nice quiet place to come to. And here we see a farm track leading down from the road and towards what we'll find out is actually an old mill building converted now into a house. There's a big clue that it is a mill building because it says so that it is mill house. And here we have the mill pond. The pond was used to back the water up so there was a steady flow. It goes under the bridge here, under the road, and you can see it gushing away as it flows over the weir and creates a steady flow of water for the mill. Now we'll leave the houses behind and find a footpath. Looking over the hedge, we can see some old barn buildings that were connected to the mill. I'm sure many of you have walked along these footpaths. We're going to take a, a path down here towards some other housing. It's quite a different style of housing here. There's some bungalows, single story buildings. And we find ourselves coming out back onto Wellham Road. Now here's an interesting location. If we peep through, we can see what looks like a wasteland, but actually a fuel station is planned to be built here. And back out, we can see ahead of us the railway crossing, another interesting part of the landscape, which we know has the river just beyond. Round into the car park, we can see houses against the edge of the car park. We have the car wash, and carrying on round, we have the Gulf Fuel Station. Here we have the Derwent Arms, a pub, and opposite the Derwent Arms, an intriguing sign that says St. Peter's. But also, a sign behind it about swimming lessons. Is it a church or is it a swimming pool? 
the posts there certainly look like a church. And if we go inside and we climb up the steps here and take a look amongst the leaves, we see an old gravestone. But if we go back on the path, we can see what used to be a church has been redeveloped into the swimming pool. Round the corner we have Fletcher's Butchers and opposite the old railway tavern. No longer a pub, this building has now been redeveloped to be flats, housing for people in need of housing. And we wind our way back through familiar streets, terraced houses once again, finding our way back to Norton Primary School.